Okay, so welcome back, and today we're going to be looking at the next ship in the lineup. So I've got the builder here with me. I just want to thank Asmos first for piloting the builder's chariot for us again, and it's Pro no, Shadow. Well. Hello. So, Hoping I don't fall off. Yes, as long as we don't sector yeah, change. Yeah, as long as we don't, we don't sector change, it should be okay. So uh, yeah. <laughs> so what's the name of this ship first of all? Uh, this first one is the Aero. The Aero. The Aeron, as it says. Oh, the Aeron. Sorry. Yep. With an N for November. I love your engine at the back here, buddy. This engine at the back is a beast. Yeah, I think it, I, I've been told it looks a bit like a giant Aeron. It's just, yeah, I really love the engine at the back there. That's beautiful. <clears throat> you got a little rose on the side. And oh, it looks like you found, looks like you found the edge of the sector. Try and stay ahead no. of this point. It, it's like... Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, we're in 666 still. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, right, so underneath, what we got? We oh got... God. We got... What's this under here? Is this a gondola or just a turret? That's... Uh, neither, that's where the cannon is stored. Yeah, I didn't mean... Sorry, uh, I didn't mean a movable one. <laughs> oh, yeah. So your AMC cannons are there. Yep. Cool. Um, then, obviously, as we move back, we've got your actual turrets, your, your movable turrets, and yeah. they have missiles. Yeah, they didn't work out as well as I intended. Ah, uh, that's all right. Maybe one day they will. See, that's what I say. Yeah. Okay, and then you've got your control tower, which is really cool. Yeah. I love control towers. So let's have a little look in there, shall we? Is radar dishes on the side as well. Yeah. Big open space, drop down, more open space, lots of space, but well yeah, lit. It doesn't have an interior like at all. Yeah. No, no, it's the exposed internals school of design. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Although I did see that one of the areas is actually hanging. I will say yeah. that this is pretty awesome though. It looks great with the glue with the glow. That's great circle you've got like that circle of green glow yeah so let's see where's this hangar that we speak of it's on the bottom ship. underneath right let's go down there then shall we oh uh, there's a poppy on the side oh it is a poppy right oh you're about to fall off mate you're about to oh he's gone <laughs> shall i just get in my own fall? yeah <laughs> yeah you can no, if you, you want it's okay so underneath here there's a uh some kind of... Ah, I, I can see it. Right, yeah, it's open. I'm going to go check it out and build a mode. And it's quite dark in here. Yeah, the internals haven't really been working at all. <clears throat> That's okay. I like the shape of this thing. It's uh, interesting. A bit like a blimp with a big rocket on the end of it. <laughs> There's... Uh, I can't remember what kind. Nice. Yeah, don't fire him just in case. Yeah. The radar design you've got here is awesome too. Not many people make them like that. So, that's awesome. And I take it the next ship back is yours too? Yeah, the other two ships behind this one. Ah, excellent. So let's check out the first, next one. The name of this ship being the... Uh, this is the EDF Decora. The EDF Decora. Yeah, oh, now I should I'm... start with EDF. Uh, now, on the front here, is the reason you use so many um, enhancers? Just a pretty pattern. Yeah. I was thinking, it's like, yeah, that's a pretty pattern, or that's very poorly giant, but you know, <laughs> it does look nice, it's a pretty pattern. And so we've got a giant salvaging array. Uh, yeah, this is my salvaging ship. This was the first ship. Nice. It's actually really, it's really cool. I like what you've done with that giant salvaging thing there underneath. It's really good. <laughs> uh, and then turret on top, meaty looking thing. Uh, the turret isn't mine. I can't remember who built it. I just logged in one day and somebody detached it. Oh right. Okay. Fair enough. Well, if anyone wants to claim it, comment below. Um, uh, didn't we? Uh, did, didn't we know who did that? I can't remember, I thought we knew who did that. Well, comment below, that's all I'm going to say. So if you remember, go ahead and post it up. Um, so here we've got a landing pad for one of your ships. Again, nice radar dishes. You've got some interesting radar dishes, man. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just seem to always add radar on them because it just makes sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and, and it's more proper radar dishes instead of those satellite dishes that everyone assumes is radar. Yeah, exactly. It's less of a movie radar and more of a real world radar. So, let's have a look down here. Yeah, various little access points, storage, everything that you would need on a good long voyage. Yeah. I okay. kind of designed the engines as if they were nuclear and they were sending their power over to the cannons. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I see that. That's interesting. Let's have a look inside and see if we can establish anything more. Let's see, we've got lots of stuff in here. Really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Right. And finally, for your submissions this week, what have we here? This is the EDF Hudson. The Hudson. The Hudson. Which so, is a purple. Originally a medical leave action. Ah, uh, you see purple. What's this? Oh, are those the power beams? Power supply or drain? Drain. Power drain. drain. Okay. Bit of E-War. I have not really seen many of those. It's because they Actually. could be. It's because they're. They could be better. I think they get tweaked, you know. So. Um, they seem useful in this update because if you can yeah. them now, you can stop the ship. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. true. It is very true. With all the changes now, it's more sensitive and it's sort of more relevant. So we've got missiles on top. Is there an interior to speak of? This one has a kind of interior. Cool. I oh, like yeah. it. I need to add beds in. Okay, so I'm going in the door, and yep, yeah, we got a little side passage. Up we go, through in here. Okay, we got a core, and we got a window at the front. A couple cameras, various little ah the stairs. Yeah, it's just a staircase going each way. Okay, going up to the front. Yeah, nice. <clears throat> Yeah, so obviously it's a mech carrier, which is kind of cool. We've got EVN GN. Is that his GN? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. So, very nice. I so like in the fact that you've actually used the power drain. <laughs> yeah, I tested it out and it seems to drain even like high powered ships quite quickly. Excellent, that's what I want to hear. Because there's going to be a ship coming from me with that soon. Hey, hey. Uh, all of my ships, apart from the Decorah so far, or well, saying all of them, it's just these two, are based off the um, space battleship Yamato bibliography. Yeah, uh, cool, cool. So there they are. The, so the last ship was called the... Hudson. The Hudson. The uh, middle ship. Uh, the Decorah. The Decorah. And then the final ship... Or the, the first ship. Own. Okay. And they were all built by? Uh, me, Pro Shadows. Pro Shadows. So there you go. Hopefully we'll see some more of these ships in Proving Grounds when that returns. Um, and I look forward to uh, seeing you there. Thank you very much. Thanks for waiting on the lineup. And uh, to everyone watching, I'm now going to move on to the next ship. So thanks for watching this one. And I'll see you soon.